Hey everybody, welcome back to Planet Coaster and Pancake Park. The name for the swinging wild mine train cart swaying coaster is now swinging cinnamon roll because apparently it looks like a cinnamon roll. Yeah, I can see it around here being all cinnamon roll y. I get it. Um, also, coming, or talking about names, name for the pat. Pa Oh my god, I can't speak. I was mixing pancake and mascot together. And you know, the smart person would just start over because, you know, I'm only, I'm under a minute in here and, you know, I could easily just start over without all these mistakes. No, I'm gonna fight through it. The pancake mascot name, guess what? It's tied at this current moment. Two of them have 60 votes, one of them has 50 votes, and the other couple, or two, was it two more? Yeah, the other two aren't near them. So we're gonna give it a few more days. And next episode, I will pick the winner. If I have to be the tiebreaker, I will be the tiebreaker. I haven't voted, but yeah, I think um, Pan Pan and Sir Syrup are the uh, two that are tied. They're both at 60 as of recording this video. And then Mr. Pancake is at 50. So the link will be, again, in the description and pinned comment. It's your last chance. If you didn't vote, we have like 200-something votes. There are a lot of people who didn't vote because 4,000, 5,000 people watched the last video. So name it. Vote. Do it. It needs a name. Um, is that it? Oh, one other thing. Remember how we were talking about how, you know, performance is now dying because the park's so big? And guess what? Scenery might also be contributing to that, as someone mentioned. Um, uh-oh. Hmm, I hope that's not going to be a problem. Let's see. This haunted house alone. 1,000... 916 pieces of scenery in this haunted house alone. We go to the front of the... Oh my god, the team overlay. We go to the front of the park and we're sitting at 2,354. So everything I've done with the stacks of pancakes, the buildings I've made, the gas station, the tunnel, the supports, all of that is just like... 300 more scenery pieces than the entire haunted house. The Pancake Hotel is another 600, and then the diner is another 700. Actually, it's the diner and the um, this ride, 700. We have a lot of scenery in this park, and the funny thing is, is we really don't have a lot of scenery in the park. It's just really condensed. So am I going to add more scenery to this park? I, I can't, unless I want the game to completely catch on fire. I don't think it's a smart thing. And speaking of game catching on fire right now, um, my recorder down here that says, hey, you're recording this game, it's flashing. And I think I know why. Uh, I just did a marble stream, and we ended on a map that has, like, no end. For those of you who don't know what marbles is, it's this. <laughs> so, I know you don't care about this if you're watching this video, most likely. But, yeah, this is, like... We've been running this map for 78 minutes, and essentially what you do is you watch on Twitch, and then you can join, and these are all people watching on Twitch. And I had to end stream so I can record the Planet Coaster video, and it's still going, and these marbles are just, they're trying their hardest to make it. They may or may not make it, I don't know, we're hoping to see, we're hoping to finish this map, is essentially what's happening here. So, if you want to partake in that, you have to watch my live streams on Twitch, it's a lot of fun. But yeah, I have that going in the background while trying to record this video. So my recorder is kind of freaking out right now, I think. So hopefully this video all works. Anyway, let's build a roller coaster because that's why you're here. <laughs> Marbles is a lot of fun. And uh, it's great having, you know, the chat getting, you know, to be involved as well. It's a good time. It's also why my voice might sound a little bit strained because, you know, it was... Three hours of commentating marble races. That's literally it. <laughs> Just marble racing. Okay. So we're going to bring the path down this way, I think. No, we're going to go like this. I've had a lot of people suggesting that I build a corkscrew coaster. But I saw it being spammed on every video. So I've inten intentionally been not building it. <laughs> But I haven't seen it in a while, being spammed on said videos. So you know what? I guess we can build the corkscrew coaster finally. 
Okay, I want this to keep wrapping around this lake. Let's make that a little bit shorter. I'm not liking how I'm seeing that, that number or that thing spaz out. This entire video could all be for nothing. And then I'll be very angry. You know what? I'm actually going to pause the recording. Just to make sure it's good. Hold on a second. See, I don't like how that's... We have angle snap on, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay. Turn angle snap off, and then I can actually do what I want to do here. Just go around the lake. Still be pretty close to the water's edge. Okay, that's good enough for now. Angle snap and go back on. And yeah, I'm going to pause the recording real quick and just see... Uh, see what's going on. All right, apparently it's still working, so we're just going to keep on going. Corkscrew coaster. I'm going to build it right here. I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of room here and trying to cram a corkscrew coaster in this entire area might be enough. There's way too much room here. We can get a flat ride or something. Let's see what flat rides we have that we haven't built before ever. Um, I did see a comment saying that I should do another, I should put all of the, um, all the new rides from the DLCs up against each other to fight against the Zozo to see which ride is the best ride out of all of them. I still have a feeling it's going to be Zozo. For, for excitement, under three nausea. That's the Those are the numbers you have to be. Under three fear as well. And I don't know if any of these ones come close. Hurricane. Golden Eagle. Yeah, I'm not. What's that one? I should just put that in with zero scenery. Hyper Jump still has way too much nausea and fear. It does have good excitement. That one will probably be close. We know Insanity sucks. I thought, you know, Loop to Loop would work, but it has a lot of fear. <laughs> Let's see. What other rides might be new? Power Moves. Is that a new ride? That does not look like a new ride. That looks like the Elixir Machine. Oh my god, it is the Elixir Machine, just on an angle. And the cars look slightly different. Do they rotate? Maybe they don't rotate. Okay, I don't think those cars rotate. Never mind. It's not the elixir machine, but it's pretty close. Um, this is something that was always in the game, right? So, yeah, no, it definitely was. Around the world, baby carousel. We don't really care about baby carousel. It doesn't actually matter because we don't have people in the park anymore. Why am I putting so much thought into this? Let's see. Test flight. I kind of want to get the Sky Temple in. This is a cool ride. I do want to put an observation tower somewhere. I was thinking, ooh, maybe I should do that instead. This is kind of an observation tower. But not as good. Because the observation tower goes way higher. So we're going to get an observation tower. I'm going to put that in now. I'm going to put it like right around here. Because it's pretty much center of the park. As close to center as it can be. I think center is like really like right here. Yeah, we'll offset it a little bit. It's fine. That thing is called the Skywatcher? Yes. And yes, this fits into the park. Why? Because the only part of a flat ride you need in the park is the base. And that is so the path can connect and work. So we could technically put it up that high. That is the park limit, the height limit, right there. So... We can't go past that. But the rest of it can, because the rest of it doesn't technically matter. Okay, we're going to put this right... I guess right there is good enough. Entrance will go... Oh, geez, it is kind of far away from the path. Oh, well, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Connect entrance to the path. Guess what? We can actually have a decent... Um... Priority pass queue. Look at that. It actually does something. Connect it. That. Perfect. Okay. Path. That is a chonky path. I'm so mature. <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay. Good. Done. 
So we have a Sky Watcher, an Observation Tower, to look at the entire park when the series is done. Out of curiosity. Whip. We only have 5,500 pieces of scenery in this park, and it's imploding. 22 coasters, 14 flat rides. That 5,500 pieces of scenery does not seem like a lot. Even for, like, an entire park. Because you want to add, like, trees and stuff. Like, I did make a park once where, you know, I actually put effort into scenery. The Tropical Paradise Park, I think is what I called it. It's on my series. A lot of you have probably... It's on my series. It's on my channel. A lot of you have probably have never seen it. But I did actually put effort into scenery at one point. And that series, you know, I lost my mind during it. Because <laughs> I started live streaming adding scenery like I was doing with Pancake Park. And it was just placing trees after trees and more trees and oh my god. Yeah, it was crazy. But that park looks nice. And you know, I had the same frame rate issues. Eventually it starts to implode. Boomerang, right? Yeah, Boomerang. That's a corkscrew coaster. Boomerang. No, it's the uh, the American one. You know, I think I'm just going to make a Boomerang coaster. I know I said I was going to do a corkscrew coaster, but I lied. There it is. The American Arrow. That's the corkscrew coaster. The Boomerang coaster, though, is what we're going to build. Why? Because I don't think we'll be able to do it, and I'm probably going to end up building the corkscrew coaster anyway. <laughs> but this one is different. Because it has a crazy, uh, crazy hill. So let's see how this works. Spoiler alert, it probably won't. What? As I was saying, it probably won't. That's it. That's the hill, right? Right? Right there. That is all we got. Oh, boy. And we're done. <laughs> I don't think this coaster will work. I could sink it a little bit, but that's cheating. <laughs> there it goes. Hooray! It doesn't even reach the chains. Well, somebody said I should try to build the worst ride I can, and I think I achieved it. The worst coaster. There you go. 0. 0.51 excitement. 0. 0.07 nausea. 0.53 fear. I challenge you to do worse. I don't think there's any way I can get this to work. I can't change the end, no. Unless I go and put this, you know, down here, I'd have to dig a hole, which I don't want to do. So, corkscrew coaster it is. Guess what, everybody? I didn't lie. We're, we're doing the corkscrew coaster, which is probably going to be what the video is called and what the thumbnail is of. So, hey, hooray for confusing you. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, so this is a corkscrew coaster, which means naturally there's a lot of flips. A lot of loop-de-loops. That's typically what corkscrew coasters are made of. Loop-de-loops and pretty much only loop-de-loops. You think it would be called a loop de loop coaster, but no, it's actually called a corkscrew coaster. This is 100% real, real roller coaster facts, which is why you all watch me build these things for the most accurate roller coaster knowledge. You're welcome. All right, let's get some loop de loops in. Ooh, that loop de loop will work. Surprisingly, wait, what? It probably won't have enough speed to do that, but the fact that it actually worked. All right, there's a certain loop-de-loop -loop I'm looking for. It's called a corkscrew. <laughs> Not a cutback, although we could probably get some cutbacks on this thing. Corkscrew entry there. 
Uh, why? Why do you have all that extra track? Just, I want the corkscrew at the back end here. Unless it has to be flat. There we go. Yeah, sure, we can corkscrew it, but no, we're not. We're gonna do the other thing. Ooh. Wait a second. I don't know what that would technically be called, but I like it. Like, that's a continuing corkscrew deal. This is a cutback into a corkscrew. That's literally what it is. It's a cutback and then a corkscrew. And the, the coaster's not going to be able to do that. No way, no how. <laughs> this is way too much gravity-defying for that to happen. And what makes it through the first one definitely won't make it through the second one. Told you. Okay, I don't know if I can make those smaller. Probably not. And I can't make that hill any higher because we're at 42. Man, this was going to be the best ride ever. Eh. All right, we're still going to attempt it. Yeah, I can't make it smaller. I might be able to, however, get more speed out of this. Wait a second. We're going to We're going to ruin everything real quick. I'm a I'm attempting to obtain more speed. Please hold. I don't know if that equals more speed. Forget it. We'll just do it like this. Get it as low as possible to the ground. It's practically in the ground right there. Okay. So it makes it cleanly through that. Good. We're going to have to throw another chain hill in if we want to do any more. <laughs> Wait, no. We could probably get a hill and then a chain hill. And then, you know, we'll just turn it and loop it back around underneath the first chain hill. Because that is a trademark of me. Okay, I am good that I decided to go the hill route first. Because there was enough speed for a hill, which will up the excitement, which will help. I could probably do way more wacky things as well with, like, how short I can make these pieces, but I've been uh, trying to avoid that as well. I mean, that's kind of wacky. But, like, I could do something crazy like... Oh, look at this hill. Look at the loop. The loop. The loop. I do not want to complete... Wow! That's a great hill! It's a great loop! This is the best corkscrew coaster ever! So I could do crazy things like that if I wanted to. But I don't want to do that. Because it makes no sense. It defies the laws of physics, even though that's... I saw some good numbers through there, and it's tempting to keep it. I, that's, I'm avoiding that stuff. Not in this park. Maybe a future park. I'll just make the most insane contraptions that are decent. I know in um, Spaguter World, I was losing my mind there and making some monstrosities. I hate these hills. Probably because they're all kind of weird. Can I smooth this out at all? Like, I have the angle snap on, but... It's not making them look any nicer. Smooth all there. I guess that technically works. They're not as crazy, which means we're not going to get as much um, good stuff, aka excitement, but it should still work. Okay. 
I wonder how the marbles are doing. <laughs> I don't worry. I'm not going to go look. I'm just curious. As much as I want to see if the marbles, you know, any of them have... I'm not looping back under that hill. <laughs> I know how much none of you probably want to watch that. I'll check before the end of the video. So, you know, the people who want to just watch for the roller coasters, they can't. And then, uh people who want to actually see how the marbles are doing you know they can click off the video because you know there's gonna be no more coasters after that point I think that's a fair compromise so we will check on the marbles before the end of the video I hate what's happening here by the way I hate this ride I hate this part it just looks so bad I hate it. I actually hate it. And that's not, and I mean, that is saying a lot because why? I don't hate anything ever. <laughs> Insert montage of me saying how many times I've hated pretty much everything. <laughs> Here, that'd be great. It's like a kitty coaster. I mean, I guess technically they're all like kitty coasters because they're all so tiny, but I don't know, it's just letting me do some things that I don't think I should be allowed to do. It's pretty much the story of this part. I don't know. Like, what is happening here? Why does this look so weird? Why do I hate it so much? It's just gross. Ugh. Ugh, it's because I'm not going and turning under the hill. That's exactly it. S pens. Those are fun. Is it still angled upwards? It's not gonna have enough speed to get through this. Are you kidding me? Wow, it actually does. I need to put another chain hill in, and I want to do that, but at the same time, this is, like, gross. I'm trying to make it not as gross. Damn, I don't think we're going to be able to... Hold on. Hold on, I could, uh... Yeah, we're rotating like that. There we go. And what we're going to do here is we have this extra height, which I can then say, hey, guess what? We're going to lower it. And then we're going to delete all of that. Hooray! I still hate it. But at least it'll make it. Ugh, God, it's killing the excitement. If I really wanted just nothing but excitement, I would just build a launch coaster and make it nothing but hills, because that is how you get an exciting ride in this video game. Hills, launch. Hills, at least in this park, because we don't have a height limit. <laughs> I mean, we do have a height limit. A very, very short height limit. Okay. Good there. And we need more corkscrews. It's a corkscrew coaster. We don't have a single corkscrew. We have a cutback with one inversion. What on earth am I doing with my existence? Here comes the corkscrew. Oh boy. <laughs> no, we got this. I believe... Uh, one thing we are going to have to switch is there's no way we're going to get a path on this side of the station. Whoops! That won't work. That's under rolls. Ooh! I didn't want to go that way. I want to go this way, but I, that's not going to work. This way will work! If this works, I no longer hate this ride. 
I no longer hate this ride as much. See, I threw that little piece in at the end there as much. Because I still don't think I like it. I don't know. Everything after the, the cutback. Eh. Eh. It's nothing to write home about. Which, you know, I get why, because we don't have, like, speed and what am I supposed to do through here? I'm going to smooth this because I actually think it looks gross. Or maybe it's fine. It's, uh, that's a problem. I think that fixed it. Good. 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 Now we're going to get a hill because we need excitement. Maybe that's why I always screw stuff up. Best hills. Ready? I don't think you're prepared for these fantastic hills. That will make me all the excitement. Huzzah! Watch this number. This number's gonna go to 80. Ready? Close. Just don't look at these other numbers. Stop Stop looking at those numbers. They don't count. Okay, see? Yeah, it's perfect. Those were not good hills. Back that up a little bit. I guess we can get a normal hill in. Whatever the hell that is. I don't know if that's gonna work. Probably not. Where am I going with this? Jeez. Okay, we're not going to go under there. Don't you worry. In fact, we're probably not going to even make it over that hill. <clears throat> oh, barely. So that does need to be lowered slightly, which is fine. We can do that. See? Now we just smooth all. Perfect. And with that, I'm going to end this one here. It's the thing. It's, it's a coaster. We're making it. It's great. We got an observation tower as well. It's the tallest thing in the park. And let's check on marbles. So if you're just here for the coasters, you can close out of the video. Um, yeah. Also, remember to vote if you haven't voted for the pancake mascot name. All right. What's happening here? Uh-oh. Oh! <gasps> Perfect timing! He made it out! Oh, we finally have a marble that made it out of there. Okay, that's amazing timing. So what's happening here is he's going to drop down into a section that... Oh, I think... No, he's late. We already had... Okay. So this map, for those of you who care... <laughs> this is the best Planet Coaster video I've ever had. The music is still playing. A bunch of marbles at the start get stuck, and then as these marbles go through this course, they free the marbles stuck at the start. And uh, that's what currently is happening right now. And they finally got free of that one area, and now they're continuing on with the course. Um, but I don't think there was any marbles free. Smalls is still stuck back here in the area where they all were stuck originally. Motor Mike has made it through, and so has Big. But there were no marbles to free in that section. So, that was all. They, it was, they're just moving on through the course. And yes, they are pigs. My marbles are pigs. Anyway, that's the update. Motor Mike, Big, Smalls are the only marbles still in it. And uh, the marbles that are still stuck at the beginning, which is all those names up there. Mucho stuck, Amy is stuck, and Wolfie Munster are stuck. Anyway, I'm ending this video here. <laughs> what an absolute mess. Planet Coaster, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and share the video if you enjoyed. That helped it a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time.